Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and I look really, really strange. Yes, I look strange. I played this pack a little bit during a stream because we didn't have a chance to get into the other pack that I was playing. The servers were having some problems, and during that time, I fought a mob, and it gave me all this armor, which is really cool. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, we're back here on en en Enigmatica 2, and uh, Jude has been on for a little bit, and he's actually uh, built a base and moved us down there. Everything got moved, so let's go take a look. Um, outside here, we used to have all of our equipment and everything, and all of that is just gone. Everything is gone, okay? But he's created this area down here. So we're going to take a look down here. And like, I've seen some things that I have even haven't seen since uh, we just logged on. Looks like he's got a water wheel here. That's kind of cool. So that's basically uh, providing power, I assume, through this uh, dynamo. I don't think it's hooked up to anything right now, but it's kind of cool. Very cool looking. I really like that Jude. Very nice. And we got a bunch of trees and things. And over here is a house. He built this house into the hill. Looks like up on top we have some windmills. Let's go check this out real quick. There's one windmill up there. Does he have two? Okay, so we just have the one right now. And that's providing power lines down to... Looks like he could put up a farmer over here. So a farmer has some power. And then we also have this system right here, which I think is hooked up to nothing at the moment, but will be. And our furnaces and stuff. And he moved my machines that I've been working on down here. We have an... Ooh, we have an... Another portal, that's awesome. And then we have, looks like some basic farm stuff going on here. So it looks pretty nice, Jude. Very, very good job. Let's go inside. Um, during the stream um, that I was doing, I did work on this, which was getting some of the uh, kitchen stuff from the cooking for blockheads done. And so we got most of that in there. And that's kind of good uh, for us. And then uh, we got tools here and an engineer's workstation, some storage, request rewards little bed area and this is like storage stuff so jude has done a lot of work getting this all set up so like i said he's always a lot better than i am at this stuff it looks like we have another room back here this goes to a mine apparently he's made a mine that's good okay and uh back here he put in the smeltery um so yeah i think this looks really nice so uh yeah pretty cool um we gotta see where we are with the quests though uh let me go and put some of this stuff away this is for quest rewards apparently Okay, and I'm not sure what this is. Do I have a chest over here to put something in? Yes, everything. I'm going to put this stuff in here for now. And let's look at these quest rewards because he did get a lot of stuff done. So let's go look at this here. Um, we're going to look at what he's done here on immersive engineering. He's done most of this stuff already. So it's got a lot done. I'm still working on forestry, and I did a couple things during my uh, time. I still have a lot I have to do. Um, but we're trying to get through forestry pretty darn quick. So anyway, all this stuff is there. I think there's a way to get all. Isn't there a way to get all quests? Like, just a button that gets all. Claim all. Here we go. Claim it all. And there we go. That should be good. And look at what we got here. Eight. Eight of them. Eight loot chests. Let's open them all right now so we can put them away here in the, in the quest rewards. Here we go. We got some coleslaw burgers. And that just sounds really, really not fun. Okay. We got an energy acceptor from Pl Applied Energistics. This is very good, and that will be very useful for us. We got a hamster wheel. I'm not sure what that's for. Is that something we put down? Let's go put this down over here. Good. Maybe we have to get a hamster then, right? We got a hay bale. Or nine of them, looks like. We got some hardened casings. And I use this with forestry, so this is very good. We got a frosted donut. We got some food items. Pretty good. Moss stone, very common, and pineapple ham. We got some food items here. That's pretty nice. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. That doesn't go there, there, there. I don't know where food items are at the moment. Um, that's a quest reward there. I'll put that in there. I'll put the hay there. I'll also put this in there for now. I'm going to find out food items. I guess should go over here, right? Put them in the fridge. Ooh, look at that fridge. There we go. Uh, let's keep the donuts on me because I like donuts. There we go. Okay, so today I think I'm going to try to figure out what we're going to do here with forestry. We're going to try to get through these quests as quick as we can. Uh, the biogas engine, let's go look at this really quick. It just takes some bronze gears, some glass, and some bronze, and a piston. So I'm going to work on that next. Let me uh, pause here, see if I can get some resources and figure out where things are specifically, and then we're going to continue on. Okay, the biogas engine takes a piston. Piston takes compressed cobblestone, so I've got some compressed cobblestone right here. We're going to compress it down. 
just like that. We need only four of those pieces. There we go. And I guess I'll take that all back. And then we need a plate. We need redstone. And we need a treated planks. We should have everything on us to make a piston. And there we go. We got two pistons. Now we need the uh, bronze. We have some bronze. I have glass on me. We need two basically bronze gears. And I have in here eight ingots of bronze. That should be two gears. We'll do this. Really quick here. I don't think he has an output set up for it, so it's automatically pull, so that's good. So we'll do two pours here. Got the first one. We're going to do the second one. And then we should have, we have the three and the glass and the piston on us, so we should be able to get this quest done pretty darn quick. Here we go. There it is. There's a table. Let's just do this right now. And biogas en engine. It generates RF from organic fluids and lava. That's good. Okay, so we'll get a loot chest there. Let's open up the loot chest. And... Astral Star Metal Coin. Okay, we got 64 of those. Very, very cool. Finishing up a second gear pour of copper. This is for a the peat engine, which we're going to get to right now. I had everything else. Might as well do this really quick here. So we have that. If we look here at the, uh, not the peat moss engine, the peat fired engine. Same thing, copper glass. We have a piston extra, so we got everything here. Let's just do that one right now. It would be the peat fired engine, and there that is. Another quest. And we'll go and get the rewards for that one. Claim that. There we go. And the loot reward is more donuts. I'm just, oh, 16 donuts. We're going to be eating well for a long time. The next quest we're going to work on is the still. It takes, looks like, four redstone and four glass. So over here in one of these research, resource chests, we have redstone. I already had that. And then up here is glass. We have a glass drawer, just like that. So uh, we should have this then done too, the still. So we're kind of going through these quickly, and I'm hoping to get a lot of this done so we can move on to a different section because we don't have a lot of infrastructure still. Still, still, there we go. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some stuff done here. Let's get another loot chest, and this one is um, mycelium, yeah. Last one for this line here is the bio generator, and you can see with the bio generator takes six gold, takes two glass and a sturdy casing, and I have the sturdy casing and the gold on me. I mean the glass on me, so we need to get some gold. Looks like we can get four gold here, and this is the bio, the bio generator. Oh, I need I gotta get two more gold. Wow, I can't count. There we go. Bio generator. Nope, that's not it. That's it, and we got that. Okay, and there's that one. Let's go get the loot chest for that and see what we get. Reactor casings. That's interesting. I don't know if I like reactors. Let's go put some of this stuff away here. Let's actually go down here in this chest. That was a reward. That was a reward. I got the donuts. That was a reward. So, yeah, we're doing really well today. Finishing up some tin, uh, tin gears here. I needed four of these. And that's because the next quest I'm working on is the Rainmaker. The Rainmaker can make or stop rain. In order for it to make rain, supply it with iodine capsule. And if you want to stop the rain, give it a dissipation charge. Okay. So basically, look here. It takes four tin gears, which we have now. And four glass, which we get. And a hardened casing. And I believe we have that over here. I believe this is one of the items right there. So we go upstairs and get some glass. Four glass. And then we can get this uh, quest done. Now, I'm just running through the quest here just so I get past this point. We still have to work on some things to make the ha place better and to do some things that helps out Jude. But the idea here is to get through these quests so we can get on with some other of the quests that we need for other things. So, Rainmaker. And there that one is. And we'll probably get another loot chest. And this time we get Mana Dust. Okay, we're going to put that away. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. The next quest to work on looks like flexible casing. You can see it goes down here. Flexible casing is rather rather new addition to forestry. It uses to craft non-multi-block forms of the various farms, okay? And it looks like we have bronze, emeralds, and we have blood or slime balls, and it looks like sand in a thermionic fabricator. It looks like four bronze, right? So let's go get the bronze. And it looks like two emeralds. And we needed slime, and I know there's some slime blocks in here, which we can break down into slime. And then we need to get some uh, glass or some sand. So 
Where do we have some sand? Do we have any sand anywhere here? I don't know if we do or not. Oh, wait, we do. There's some sand. Haha. <laughs> okay. So this is used in a thermionic fabricator. So we're going to go outside here. This is where I have the thermionic fabricator set up. Okay. Now, we again are going to make uh, the flexible. Type this in, right? Flex. We're making that. So we'll put that in the, into here. It says it takes all this stuff. We know it takes that. We know it takes this. Not that. This. And that. Okay. So now it also takes some sand up here. So if I put a sand in here, it should start to work. Put four in there for now. And you can see the bars going up. I'm not sure if this is like just, it has to get this level up here with this arrow. But it's going to get there hopefully soon. And then once it does that, we should have the flexible casing, which will complete this quest. So we're moving right along through forestry. Hopefully we can get through all of forestry today. That's kind of like my goal, okay? So here we go. Is it there? Is it? Is it? It looks like it's, there it is. Flexible casing. We made it. Okay. So we need one. There it is. Another loot chest. And... Litherite crystal from environmental tech. That is pretty darn nice. That is actually very nice because it gets us started on, on the uh, environmental tech. Okay. I have to venture into the nether for the next quest to get some blaze rods so I can get some blaze powder. So, uh, wish me luck. I'm in the nether here and you can see we have these thorny bushes and a lot of soul sand. This makes trying to get back to the nether portal really, really terrible. Uh, so what I brought with me is some cobblestone. What we're going to do is we're going to make some little bit of pathway. So we go to the, over here and we go over this way to get out. That way we can get back here fairly quickly and not get stuck or captured by other uh, creatures. Okay, so we're going to do that uh, right now. Basically, it's pretty easy. Take out these blocks here. That takes mantle to get nether quartz or I'm going to leave it. It's okay. And we're just going to make a little walkway over this stuff right here. It's pretty basic, but I mean, it really helps out trying to get through this stuff to have a walkway that we won't get stuck on. Um, I've almost been killed three or four times in the nether here just because of this section. So this will take care of that. I'm in the nether and I just got a blaze from one of these like dog-like creatures. We only need a couple more because we have some blaze at, back at base. So let's see if we can get some of these guys. If it gives us any blaze. It does give us blaze, so that's good. So let's just kill them all off. Got some leather too, that's good. Now here's some more of the soul sand. I don't really want to be on this when I'm fighting these guys. Okay, come on. Are you going to slow too? That's good. You too? Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got some soul sand. So uh, my pick is dead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to base. And we're going to be using this blaze for the next quest. Back at the thermionic fabricator. We need these blazing... Electron tubes. You can see it takes blaze powder and it also takes redstone. So let's see if we can put that quest in there, or the uh, recipe in there. We have six and we needed five, which is good. Should need two of that. And we had some glass already in there from sand, so we automatically have. There we go. The blazing electron tubes. That's another quest done. Excellent. And we're going to get our loot reward here, the loot chest. And we got some blue berry pancakes. Yum. Looking at the next quest, I had started working on these farm blocks and farm hatches, and I've made these before. We need to make a farm valve, a farm control, and a farm gearbox to complete this quest. I'm not sure how all these work, and I might investigate that and do that in a different episode. I just want to get the quest completed for now. So, right here, we need a farm block, a tin gear, and some glass. That's one tin gear. Here, we need a golden electron tube, which I just made in redstone and another farm block. And the last thing we need is three tin gears and the farm block, okay? So we have three farm blocks up here. I have the golden electron tube. So we really need to just get four tin gears. Four tin gears is unfortunately 16 tin, which means we're going to have to go mining in just a little bit here. But let me get this started cooking, and we're going to go looking for some tin right now down in the mine. Looks like we have a zombie right here. So get him. He's all armored up. Maybe he'll give us some good stuff. I don't know. We'll see what he gives us here. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, you're in a good spot for me. And you didn't give us much at all. But that's okay. Now, right here, I did dig a little bit. And I found some, um, basically some tin right there. Like a bridge across here. So we're going to get this tin right now. I'm going to vein mine this. And then we're going to go back up and we're going to cook it. Pouring the last gear this should be it for what we need to get the entire quest done. We'll have to get some glass, too. Don't want to forget the glass. Let's go upstairs. Let's go 
with the glass for now. And we'll get this uh, quest done here in just a second, okay? So we need to get... Uh, I gotta look at this. It's basically farm valve control and gearbox. So let's do each of those. Farm valve. Right? And there we go. And control. One of these. And we have the gold electron tube on us. So we're, there we go. And the gearbox. Just like that. And there it is. And that should get that quest done as well. Excellent. We're doing really good. Now, again, these are a multi-block farm that you can make with a forestry. And I have never really experimented with forestry that, forestry that much. So I might be doing that later on, maybe in the next episode or two, trying to figure this out. I really want to get past this stuff so we can get into the next set of, set of uh, quest lines, which has a lot of the machines that we think we want. Okay. Let's claim that loot box. Let's get this here. And we've got some cheddar and sour cream potato chips. Nice. Moving on. Next thing we need to do, it looks like, is the apiary, which then leads to portable analyzer, the centrifuge, and the apiarist's armor. So the apiary, here we go. This is uh, something to do with bees. I haven't used that either. But we need to make this. This looks like it's just wood and slabs and an impregnated casing. And we do have an impregnated casing in here. So let's go check our wood stores. I'm not sure that we have a lot of wood right now. Which doesn't take a lot either. That's well, there's some wood right in there too. I don't know what wood is doing in stone, but no, that's okay. Um, so we have some of those. We need just a little bit more wood. Let's see. If I take this, I know it only gives us two, but that's okay because we don't need a lot. Can we make the apiary with a mixture of woods? Okay. So there's the ap apiary, and it will let us do it. That's excellent. All right, we got that one. So we'll claim it. Loot chest. What do we get? An Ender Offset Wand. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what that's used or what it does, but that's kind of cool. What is the Portable Analyzer? It can it analyze bees, trees, and butterflies? And it requires, in the Carpenter, tin ingots. And we have enough tin ingots, glass panes, redstone, and diamonds, and two buckets of water. Okay, so let's go get this done over here. Let's see over here. Do we have a bucket? I thought there was a bucket in here somewhere. There's a bucket. So we can get some water. We, it said we needed redstone. We have on us. We need tin. We need glass panes. So let's get some glass panes here. There we go. Looks like it's dark. We need to sleep. We'll do that really quick. And then what else we need in here? We need the, uh, a gem. Was it an emerald or was it a diamond? I don't remember. So let's go look at the quest. It's a diamond. Okay. Let's go grab a diamond. There we go. Down here, we have a carpenter right here. And again, oh, there's a lot of wood. Good. We do have wood there. We need that. We need a couple of redstone. We need a four tin and some glass panes there. We're going to be getting the analyzer, this thing here. Put that there. And really all it's requiring now is water. So do we have a, an infinite water source around here? I thought we might. Well, maybe over there. I'm not sure. But we got a pond. We'll make two trips here. We got one. I wish I had two buckets, but we don't. At least I didn't see it. So we'll put one in here. We'll get another one. This should make the ape or the uh, analyzer, and that will be the next quest done. This is going pretty fast. I'm looking forward to getting past this, though, because uh, I think uh, we'll be good when we get some good machines and some power and some stuff. So let's make sure this is working. And it looks like it is. And there it is. We're going to grab that. It should be good. Give us the quest. Excellent. And we got a loot chest again. And this time, well, hopefully we get something really cool. We got a resonant servo. That's like the top end servo. That is a very nice reward. Very nice. Now for the centrifuge. We need this right here. Let's go over here and put that in. I have the stuff on me for that. That's pretty darn easy. Just that right there. And there we have the centrifuge. All right. Now this is kind of important. Uh, let's get the loot chest and then I'll show you why it's important. The next things we need down here for the quest, and this is the last thing for forestry, is this armor. Now, each of these pieces of armor, it has some various recipes, but each of them basically are going to take this woven silk, okay? And woven silk is in the carpenter with water, that's pretty darn easy, is getting silk wisp, okay? So we're going to get a bunch of this, and silk wisp, it looks like the only way is through the centrifuge using silky propolis. I hope I said that correctly. And how do we get that? It looks like we get that from Silky Comb. And Silky Comb we get from 
Uh, looks like bees. So we're going to have to do some bee uh, hunting here in a little bit to see if we can get the silky comb from the bees. And I'm not sure how to do this. I might have to go look at a video and read up on it before I try. But hopefully I can get this before this video ends. Oh, yeah. That loot chest has a void upgrade. There we go. That's kind of nice. I'm looking for bees. I know you have to use a smoker on them. I'm doing that. I don't know how many times you have to use this. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to see if I can break this without dying. And they're not hitting me, and that's good. Um, so you should be able to pick this up. Now, I'm not sure if I break it now, if it gives me other things, or if it becomes whole. I'm not really good with this part of forestry. And so what happened there? We got... I uh, already had some drones. Did we get anything at all? I had the seven drones on me. Doesn't look like it gave me anything at all. Perhaps I'm using the wrong tool or doing the wrong thing. We're going to go find another hive, and I'll try it again. This is me experimenting with bees. Another hive. I'm smoking it. Like that. I'm like, can I do anything with it? Can I break it? Let's try it with an axe. I don't know if this is how you do this. Um, don't know how to get stuff out of it. I tried right-clicking on it. It didn't work. Let's see if we get anything here. Okay, I didn't see anything at all. So I am not sure how to use the smoker and the beehives. Let me go read up just for a couple seconds and see what I can find out. I didn't know you need a scoop. So we're going to make a scoop here. There we go. And this is used to break hives to collect bees. That works out well. Now let's go find another hive. Okay, here's a hive. Let's try this out. We'll smoke it. And we'll scoop it. And there we go. We got some bees. Meadow Princess Bees. Now, I think what we need, because we need to make um, that silk. So let's look that up really quick here. The silk here, we need this stuff. And this stuff comes from Silky Propolis, which comes from Silky Comb. And it looks like we need, basically, Tropical Princesses and Tropical Drones. Okay, so we probably should go to a tropical area, I would imagine, and see if we can find that. So I'm going to go start running around, see if I can find a tropical area. Hey everybody, I just got back from a long trip. Jude and I have spent the last two days, real life days, trying to get the stuff we need for this quest over here. This uh, forestry quest, trying to get this uh, armor that we need to get. And to get that, if you recall, I had to get tropical bees. I have been looking and looking and looking. We have not found a tropical, like a rainforest or a jungle or anywhere around. And we have gone just pretty much everywhere. I mean... If I look at this this chart, I mean, we've just been going off in all sorts of directions really far, not finding anything. It's been very, very crazy. So in the meantime, <laughs> Jude came back, and he's been going on, apparently. So let's do some final of these. Uh, oh, whoa, what was that? Did you get hurt? I guess he uh, slept and woke up and got hurt. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at some of these quests that he just did and get these done, and then we're going to end this video, okay? So let's see here. We have a bunch of these things. Looks like in immersive engineering, he's gotten a couple more. That's good. And what else do we have here? Let's see. A couple of the gates. He did the mechanism gate. Okay, so let's go and get all of those. I can't do a claim all. Let's just claim that one then. Uh, speed or energy upgrades. I always like speed. Okay. And then here we are. We're going back into mechanism. Nope, he hasn't done anything in mechanism yet, has he? Nope, but he's unlocked it. Good. Okay. So, immersive engineering, we got a loot chest, got a loot chest, and finally another loot chest, okay? Let's go take a look at these loot chests. We also got some steel casing, that's good. Okay, here we go, and an umbran sapling. Don't know what that is, but it looks like it's common. Got a wyvern energy core which, from Draconic Evolution. Now, this looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what that's for. I haven't done a lot with Draconic Evolution, but I know that sounds kind of cool. And an end crystal. Recipe has been tweaked by Draconic Evolution. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's it, I think. I think we've got everything. Looking at the gates, though, um, he's gone down in a mechanism. I think I was actually going to go over and try Industrial Craft. Um, we need this thing as part of a chain that we need so we can get to apply energistics, which is kind of where I want to go. So we're going to be starting, I think, in the next episode on industrial craft. So there I am in my weird armor. I want to say thank you guys for uh, coming out. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day.
拜。